Lord Pepper, you're yeah, welcome to Ghana Web. Thank you. First and foremost, um, let us know a little bit about yourself. Yeah, I'm Lord Pepper, an artist based in North Care. Lord is actually my name. And the paper is um, money. Okay. But I mean, paper is everything. Okay. Yeah. When, when you are born today, it's on paper. When you die today, it's on paper. Yeah, so it's basically everything. So what kind of music would you say you do? Yeah, I'm, I'm a musician. Okay. I do all kinds of music. I mean, the, the one that got popular was Arama, which is soul music. And I released Sika Draw, which is hip hop. Yeah, and then I released um, Mami Sewa yeah, just yesterday, which is um, Azonto, like Afro pop. I do all, all, all kinds of music. I sing and I rap too, so I just do. Whatever inspires me at the moment, that's what I do. Yeah. The people that you look up to, do they have any influence in the kind of video you bring out? No, really. I think the no. It's just the video stuff is just me. Something that I I do personally, you know. Nothing to do with, nothing to do with the people who inspires me, yeah. When your first video came out there were a lot of criticisms. Do you think that um, Ghanaians are unnecessarily critical of your work or there's something that you're trying to portray that we are not probably seeing in the videos that you, you bring out? Yeah, the first video, I personally didn't think there was anything wrong with it. I thought it was good art. Yeah, but I think me and my team, like everybody thought it was good, but people didn't really receive it that way anyways but there are people who actually think it's really good and stuff yeah and there are people criticizing but these same people have the videos on their phones and stuff and they watch it or oh, like almost every day and stuff so I think those people are hypocrites have you been called by any of these A-list uh, artists to maybe do a collaboration let's say Sarkodie manifest has any of these people called you for any sort of collaboration or something? Yeah, yeah I've worked with uh, three artists, three big artists. I don't want to mention names now because um, um, I'll release a cover pick for one of the songs tomorrow. Yeah, which I'm dropping probably on Monday. So then there's some positive feedback from the video, you think? Oh yeah, yeah. Like, I think it's 80-20. The negative is 20, but 80% good. So is that the reason why um, Mami Sewa is out? Yeah, Mami Sewa, Mami Sewa, I went to Magnum Studio, he was playing the beat and I think I liked the beat the way it was, it was so I just dropped something and Mami Sewa came. I'm, I'm inspired by beats a lot and then when, they, when, then when I'm listening to the beats, whatever comes in mind, I just drop it and I make sure it makes sense. So when Mami Sawa came in mind, okay, what, what has Mami Sawa done? And the storyline just came and I dropped it on it, yeah. So. Let me go back to the video. Um, th th there are people who say that um, the video that you release for a song should have some sort of relationship. There should be some sort of correlation between the video yeah. and the lyrics. Do you think Erama, Mami Sewa, the, the videos that came out with it, do you think that they have some sort of relationship? Uh, with Erama, if you listen to the song, the lyrics of the song and the video, you know that it makes sense. I'm telling exactly what's in the music. But with the Mami Sawa, no one has seen the full video, so they can't tell for now, yeah. But if you watch the full video, you will understand. You understand the concept, which makes perfect sense. Somebody wanted to know if everything they saw in the teaser was real. The P and the hand, was it real? Yeah, those things can't be edited. It has to be real, just that, it looks the way I want it to look. And it looks the way I want people to see it. So yeah, there are angles and stuff, but yeah, the way I want it out there, that's how I do it. So, so a hand went into the pee? The, 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 the finger, actually. The hand is there, but <laughs> what the hand is doing, nobody knows. <laughs> um, the models you use for your videos, um, what goes into selecting them? Are they friends? Are they family? Are they people that you know already? Yeah, Erama was a friend. The girl I used for Erama, Nanaya, she was a friend. 
So I spoke to her about the video and she was cool. She's a model as well. She shot a couple of videos. So I just I spoke to her and she agreed to shoot with me. But with the other girl, I contacted a, an agency that I want to shoot a video like this. So do you, you know that they, they are nude models, right? Mm. Yeah. So I just contact them and uh, they sent me a couple of pictures. So I choose the one I want. We discuss the price and everything. And then, yeah, we just meet and we start to work.